You know, life really is a game. And like every game, it has rules. Some rules cannot be broken. Some rules can. And just like in any game, you can win the game. And there's actually a reward at the end of the game. But before we can win the game, there's a final boss we must defeat. Trust me, this one is brutal. But we cannot win the game without defeating this monster. But before I tell you how to defeat this monster and how to win the game of life, let me explain the rules of the game and give you some cheat codes. You see, you get spawned on a random map in the world. And the first 18 years are tutorial missions. You need to learn how to talk, you need to learn how to walk. And the tutorial missions are a lot of fun. But it's after you complete the tutorial missions that the real game starts. You get to level up your skills, like health, career, love. You can unlock new areas by traveling and visiting different countries and cities. And you can unlock quests, like getting married. And there are also a lot of side quests you can do. Quit playing video games all the time. Go exercise. Yeah. Again with the video games. Stop playing video games. Stop you wasting your time. They may feel like useless mini games, and although they don't help you in your main quest, you can earn experience points that might help you later in life. And you know. There are some known bugs in the game, like the infamous deja vu bug, or the walk into the room and forget why bug. They're working on that one, by the way. And sometimes players choose to do something, like go to the gym, for example, but the body just doesn't respond. You can fix this, by the way, with the cheat code. You need to install this cheat code pack called discipline.x. You can install this cheat code by uh, taking cold showers or getting someone to hold you accountable or by surrounding yourself with people who already installed the cheat code. And since life is a multiplayer game, you will meet people. Some will fight you. Some will want to join your party. And some are just NPCs, non-playable characters. Characters that don't realize they're part of the game. They are usually occupied with non-trivial things. Most of the time you can just ignore them. All players die after about 4,000 weeks. And if some of your stats like longevity, health or diet are good, you might last a little long. But eventually everyone's time runs out. So when do we face this final boss? Well. It's different for everyone. Some face it very early in the game, some face it very late in the game. And there are also people who never face this monster. Therefore, these people can never win the game of life before their time runs out. And you have to defeat the final boss before you can win the game. So are you ready to meet the final boss? We're gonna keep doing this forever or what? Wait, so you are the final boss. Always have been. I don't understand, how can I be the final boss? Well, you know how they say you're your own worst enemy. Turns out they were right. But how? Why? Well, what has been the one thing most holding you back? Taking risk in life. The fear of judgment, right? Scared of the opinions of others. But is the judgment itself doing any damage to you? No, it's your reaction. It's your fear of judgment that's holding you back and stifles you. And then there's the fact that you don't believe in yourself. You don't believe in yourself. And whether or not believing helps you succeed in life, that's not the point. But not believing does not help you succeed in life. What do you think you can, or what do you think you can? You're right, Henry Ford, Henry Ford. And then there's the most misunderstood thing in life, life itself. You see, people go through life thinking there's some, something you can win. There's something waiting for them at the end. There's like some objective or meaning to life. But what they fail to understand, there is no objective. There is no meaning. It's just about playing the game of life. I mean, it doesn't make any sense. If you go out and buy a video game, you don't buy a video game to just 
see the end screen, congratulations, you won the game, and then you see the end credits. No, you want to play the game. Playing the game is what's fun. All the challenges and everything and the levels, and it's the same in life. People think they, they can somehow win the game, but there's nothing to win. It's about just roaming around, playing the game, and having fun. Okay, I guess it makes sense, but wait, how do I defeat this final boss then? That's it, basically when you realize that you're your own worst enemy, that you're the final boss you have to defeat, you automatically win the game of life. You're not free to roam and have fun and explore this infinitely beautiful game called the game of life. Makes sense. So what do I do now? You see? You see? 